I am Phil, head of product here at Edelrit, and in this video, I will show you the most versatile crampon system there is. The requirements for crampons are as versatile as they can be. Every type of alpinism has different challenges, different shoe types that the crampons should fit, front points that should work perfectly in snow, then in steep ice, and then again precisely in difficult mixed or tri tooling pitches. Sometimes it's all about the perfect walking performance and other times it's about stability in steep terrain. And then there are times when you want to minimize the weight as much as possible. And all this in all possible combinations, of course. With the Edelweight Grampon system, there is a solution for all these applications and all based on your model. Let me walk you through it. Okay, we will start with separating the binding system and the crampon frame first. All of our binding parts fit on all frame combinations. So we deal with it one after the other. Let's start with the frame parts. As you know, a crampon basically consists of a back part, a front part, and some kind of bridge connecting both parts. We generally have four different models, summing up a specific back and front part pair called Demon, Beast, Shark and Nemo. The Demon is our high-end steep climbing weapon. This was developed specifically with the focus on steep ice, mixed and tri tooling Reduced to the bare essentials, it has four different positions for mounting our front teeth. And specifically, a longer secondary front teeth making early contact with the ice too for a stable stand. At the back of this front part you see an elongated central spike which ensures a firm stance on like cauliflower ice for example. Our beast crampon on the other hand is also a technical crampon but bridging more the gap to the other two models Shark and Nemo. It also has four options to mount front teeth in the front 12 points in total and a more balanced geometry between walking and steep climbing. The special thing about the Beast frame parts in particular is the stainless steel front part, as well as the 3D bending technique used to produce these parts. This production method allows to reduce the material to a minimum and keep the strength up high, minimizing the weight for a 12-point crampon. That is something that Edelried first established for crampons and has ever since been adopted by many other brands. Anyways, together with the other parts we will talk about, it is probably the most versatile crampon choice on the whole market today. For the Beast and the Demon, you can choose from three different front teeth to again combine for your favorite setup and requirements, of course. Apart from the classical vertical front point, we also offer a shorter version tooth. The shorter tooth can, for example, be combined with a longer one to make up for a crampon that has a very pronounced monopoint to be very precise in foot placement whenever you are dry tooling or climbing rock sections, but also offers still more stability when getting to the ice parts than when you climb with a single monopoint. Both of these vertical teeth come with our patented grind geometry that minimizes bursting effects in the ice. A little detail that makes such a great difference with our crampons and tools. The third front tooth version that we offer then is a horizontal one, with which you can change your technical crampon set up to a more classical one, whenever, for example, steep, snowy or fern slopes might require this. Next up, we have the Shark front and back parts. The Shark is a classic 12-point crampon, perfect for all-round alpine endeavors. Like the Beast, its parts are 3D bent to minimize weight and with its horizontal front points and overall geometry, it really excels in steep snow and fern slopes, long glacier travels and even easier mixed terrain. And finally, the Nemo frame parts. The idea behind this crampon is initially to provide a perfect entry-level model, but the Nemo should not be underestimated. With the classical 10-point configuration, the Nemo is light, compact, and compensates for the largest covered shoe size range. The sharp horizontal front points are a bit more narrow, making this crampon actually a pretty cool choice, even in steeper ice terrain. All right, so these are the basic frame parts within our crampon range. Now add to this that both heel options are also available in an aluminum version, as is the Beast and Nemo front parts. This means that throwing the aluminum parts into the mix, our crampon range can offer you 
the lightest technical crampon on the market, consisting of the beast aluminium front and back part, as well as the lightest overall crampon on the market with the Nemo front and shark beast back parts in aluminium. That's pretty awesome, right? But of course, aluminium parts on crampons should only be used when you don't plan to have a lot of rock contact. The parts will not break, but will wear down very quickly. So, but of course, we are not finished with the whole crampon frame. We need a bridge to connect both parts. And for this, we offer three, actually four different options. In general, this is a rigid steel bridge that comes in two sizes, as well as a flexible textile bridge, which comes in two versions, but one after the other. The two-sized rigid bridge that is now made from high-strength stainless spring steel can cover from down to 32, which is probably as low as you can currently find on the market, up to 50, depending on which front and back parts you use. The flexible bridge obviously saves a lot of weight and volume and covers shoe sizes from 34 to 48, again, depending on the other parts. And it comes in two slightly different versions. One consists of this little metal part and is the universal version connecting to any front part in our range. And one comes with out this metal part to stream down weight and this one only connects to the Nemo aluminium front part. Please note, the shoe sizes we provide with the crampons are a mere orientation. Shoe sizes, unfortunately, are by far not standardized. A shoe in size, say, 42 can be completely different in actual size for a crampon depending on the brand and whether it is a running shoe, a mountaineering boot, a ski boot or whatever. It is simply impossible for a crampon manufacturer to provide any guarantees here. At this point, let me tell you about some cool tricks and features with our bridge system. The spring clip for the rigid bridge adjustments usually sits on the back part. If a shoe is too small for a given bridge system, it could require that the bridge after the crampon adjustment protrudes unacceptably over the back part. In such cases, the spring can be switched on the front part, offering often more room to cover the bridge. Or whenever you want to use a crampon with very soft boots, it is possible to thread the rigid bridge in the front in such a way that you generate a flexible joint harmonizing more with your shoe. This is something we specifically recommend, especially when you are on the heavier side. Okay, so far we have seen all of these parts that are all interchangeable, which is already pretty cool. Of course, all of the frame parts have an antibot plate corresponding to them. So let's talk about the binding system now. And this is just as versatile as the frame parts are. There are all kind of different shoe types that require a dedicated binding system. Softer approach shoes and hiking boots, semi-rigid boots, rigid mountaineering boots, ski boots, and so on. What we offer here are two different front parts. A rigid wire front part for such shoes that have a corresponding binding socket and a soft binding part for boots without such a socket. This can then be combined with three different back parts. Also a soft binding part for completely soft shoes and two different back levers for shoes with a corresponding binding socket at the back. One of these levers is a more sophisticated version with a continuous height adjustment. And the other one is a streamlined down to three wire placements version for height adjustment and is supposed to be as minimalistic and light as possible. These parts can be combined with any frame and bridge part setup to cover all possible needs. What is now only missing is the strap system. And again here, we offer a light minimalistic version for such setups that use the auto binding parts in the front and in the back, as well as a classic webbing system covering also soft bindings and any hybrid binding setups in between. At this point, it is worth saying a few things about the buckle you can see here because it's pretty clever. It enables quick and uncomplicated adjustment and detachment as well as adjustment. With this buckle, you will not have to unthread the whole binding webbing anytime you you want to get in or out of your crampons and you will never have problems again with frozen buckles you can't open anymore. So let's take a closer look. You thread in the puller loop and only have to pull it tight. To release just pull the puller loop and off it is. And for those who like the conservative way you can easily lock the buckle by just threading the puller loop in this dedicated hole. 
In this case, you have a standard buckle you need to loosen first before you can release it. All right, so here we go. One big interchangeable system offering you options of more than 600 different Grampon combinations. This means any Grampon you buy, you can infinitely extend to fit other needs and support you as you progress as a climber, repair broken parts or starting with our kids crampon and extend it as the little ones grow in size and in their abilities.